today we're actually over here looking at Princess Helen Aluwalia of Kapoorthala. That's right. That's Tell right. me a little bit more. Well, she's the daughter of Maharaja Randeep Singh of Kapoorthala um, from the Aluwalia family. And she was born in the Punjab in the 1860s. And she died in this village in Essex at the age of 23. And unknown to in anyone. In this tiny little village called yeah. Brodinghurst, which I've never even heard of. Me neither until... Look at this. I mean, so much history. That's right. And it, this history was a, a hidden history, a lost history, um, waiting to be discovered. And now we know more about her life. We know so many lovely stories about her, um, her, her mother, uh, and how she ended up in this little village. So I have to tell you that my most exciting story when I was Googling her was that she became the model for a really well-known artist called Edwin Long. And she did lots of um, lovely poses for him in what in those days was very scandalous wear, mm -hmm. like, you know, because it was yeah. sort of very revealing wear. Yeah. And I just think, what a gutsy, fabulous woman she must have been, like yeah. so much ahead of her yeah. time. Well, they were biblical images, so they were for Bibles. Um, Long used to do paintings for illustrated Bibles, which was all the rage um, in, the, in the 19th century, and it sort of went out of fashion. So when, when those Bibles went out of fashion, um, the demand for Long's work also uh, fell. And as you probably heard earlier on, he was a superstar back in the 19th century for his, for his works. He was. And um, one of the reports I read on him was that it went out of fashion because he used to make them really long. I mean, one of his most famous paintings was five meters long. That's so, right. Like, where would you even put that? Huge canvases. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but for me, the fact that she broke those barriers. I yeah. mean, today, if some artist comes along and asks a woman to be his muse, to pose for him, it's considered such a huge honor. Back yeah. then, it was yeah. like, oh, no, she's unchaperoned. She couldn't yeah. be doing this. So. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, and I mean, even like um, examples of her going out unchaperoned, which was unheard of for ladies of, of, of a certain title, uh, of a certain status. There was instances of her being reported sitting amongst company of men, which single women did not did do not at that do time in, in the Victorian time. So she broke the mould, you could and say. And Kapoorthala's broke the mould too. I mean, uh, one of them married uh, Anita Delgado. That's right, the famous Spanish dancer. Um, another famous one we had was Princess Indira Devi, who was the first South Asian woman who um, got employment with the BBC and became a BBC radio broadcaster during the Second World War. And these are all the Kapoorthala women. So. Yeah. So Peter, what led you to um, discover Princess Helen Aluwalia? Purely by chance, I was um, looking for um, old photographs. I'm an art collector myself, and I came across uh, an inscribed uh, ca a cabinet card photograph, uh, which was inscribed Helen Aluwalia of Kapoorthala, which uh, a quick wow. search led me to, to this uh, grave in this sleepy village. And um, now um, I'm keen to learn more and research. And who knows, maybe we could be looking at a future documentary, a future length documentary, or, and even a book on the subject. Yeah, I really yeah. want to know more about her. And I think that these stories need to be archived for the next generation. They're part of our history of Punjab, so we need to know more. Definitely. I mean, she is one of the, the early Punjabis to, to come and settle in this country.